Hello everybody! Today we'll be reviewing the Doyle sofa. It's a compact sofa with a vintage vibe, a vintage feel of a 50s style with a high backrest. Let's dive in and discover its details. Its depth is 100 centimeters. So I said that it's a compact sofa, but its depth is actually standard. I mean compact in the sense of the type of composition that we can create, but it's actually quite comfortable. And this comfort comes also from the depth, which is standard, 100, we said. So we have 42 centimeters high seat. The armrest is 57, we'll discuss the comfort later on. And the back is relatively high, it's 90 centimeters. So these sort of sofas normally uh, is uh, considered as a different type, a different type of sofas in comparison to those which are thought uh, for the main sitting room, for relax, for watching telly. This type of sofas is normally conceived con for conversation. Uh, in their compact versions, they are sometimes defined and love as love seats, like uh, two seaters. And uh, normally they are paired with uh, a matching armchair or a matching ottoman. And actually the collection does have the two-seater, this one, which is the 175, uh, and it also has the armchair and the poof ottoman. And then we have the sectional elements. So we have terminal elements in two sizes. We have the central element if we want to make very big collection, very big compositions, and we have the corner element. So uh, this is a model which works well, for example, uh, in an important house or apartment where you have a secondary, uh, secondary seating area, uh, which is meant for uh, formal sitting when you welcome guests rather than for full comfort uh, in the family watching telly. Uh, it is indeed comfortable when you watch telly. I'll show you how when I sit, but it's more for conversation and for formal sitting. Or it could be perfect for a contract environment, for example, it could be a hotel lobby. Uh, for example, uh, we are using it, it in, pro in projects where it is used in uh, entrances, in halls of office spaces. Uh, so it's very flexible in this regard. The sitting style is quite peculiar. I can tell that I do feel the eye back. We said it's 90 centimeters and it perfectly supports my shoulders. The depth, the seat is quite deep, so I can move my bottom forward and then I can also rest my head, my neck. And in general, it is uh, quite sturdy in the sense that the, the fillings are very high density and you don't sink in at all, on the armrest especially, but also on the back. And of course, the, the seat is uh, uh, a bit more bouncy and elastic. Uh, and uh, when, uh, in general, I, I do feel the, um, the lumbar uh, cushions to be a bit too uh, protruding, uh, at least for my taste, uh, because uh, I, um, I would prefer them to be softer, but this is a personal taste at all. Uh, what I like a lot uh, in these cushions is that uh, they appear to be simply lying uh, here while they are fixed with a zip, and uh, this makes them very uh, tidy in the sense that they don't move around. As we see here, the collection is beautiful when you match two colors, two materials. And for example, here we see the back part, which is covered in leather, more details later, and the front part and the seat, which is upholstered with this fabric. And uh, we have the lumbar cushions, which can be made to match the front part or the back part. On certain rounded items, you normally use uh, elastic fabrics because you need a certain degree of elasticity to fit well with the curves of the item. On the Doyle sofa, uh, we, we planned on having uh, specific stitches uh, on the surface which allow the use of any fabric because they kind of break the overall surface. And these stitches, you know, they are more perceivable on certain fabrics and less perceivable on others. And for example, here, you don't really see them until you get really close up uh, near uh, the sofa. Uh, you would perceive them more, for example, uh, on a velvet, on a plain fabric, for example, or you would perceive them more on leather. As to the covers, the fabrics and the leather, we must first say that these covers are not removable, so you cannot remove the fabric and wash it. Uh, and thus, uh, it's, uh, I suggest to 
uh, choose practical fabrics and based on the destination where you're going to place it. And I want to point out some artisanal features which make it special, which is the way the different materials are managed. For example, if we have a close up here, we said we have a leather, we have the stitch here, we have a gross grain piping which connects the fabric and the leather and then we have the fabric and I can customize all these details. Just to give you an idea, we have hundreds of leathers for the leather part, uh, hundreds of uh, fabrics and then we have 19 available colors for the gross grain piping and 16 available colors for the stitches. So many customization options. The Doyle sofa is beautiful from the back as well, also because it's all rounded. And from here we can see how the feet supporting it are not simple feet, but uh, it's actually a frame uh, with this rectangular section. This is available in 10 colors, 10 standard colors, and then you have, as usual, uh, the RAL option, so you can choose from among the RAL, the full RAL scale. And uh, here also we see the beautiful match between the metal, the leather, the stitches, the double stitching here, which is even more perceivable than the single stitch at the edge. And here we see again the gross grain and the fabric. So indeed, beautiful from the back as well. So we said we have loads of options for the, for, for the fabrics. Let's talk about the Bellamy fabric. The Bellamy fabric, technically, it's a mottled boucle uh, with a multi-thread with and it's particular because it matches uh, the boucle knots that you see here, this lighter color part, okay, on top of a multi weave, uh, uh, of a melange weave. So we have this uh, double effect of a boucle over a multi weave fabric. Now we must have a special mention about the leather used here uh, because this leather is called Tuscania and here we have a leather which is uh, produced in Tuscany with Tuscanian cows and it's called Tuscania and it's indeed very special because it's a full grain leather you can perceive it from these you see these all these details full grain with vegetable tanning and vegetable tanning is important because when you the, the process of vegetable tanning which is a few, fully natural process uh, fully compatible with, with the environment uh, makes the leather biodegradable, uh, it avoids the presence of any chemical on the leather uh, because it uses uh, uh, natural dyes and so it's not only beautiful to touch and beautiful to see uh, but uh, it's definitely good for the environment and uh, it, it makes it definitely a high-end solution. So we've come to the end of today's product review. I hope that you liked it and see you next time. Bye bye!